My name is Christy and I am from Houston, Texas and I have a channel on YouTube that's called The Former Mrs. Jones. Initially, I started an Instagram account because I really wanted to connect with other people who do the Dave Ramsey plan because I just don't know anybody in my real life that I can connect with and social media is this great platform where you can connect with other people. I had my sick and tired of being sick and tired moment one evening when uh, we were in our old house and my husband came home from work and he needed gas for his truck. There was nothing in our bank account and our credit cards were maxed out. So I got in his truck, I drove to the gas station and I was just praying that the gas pump would take my credit card. It was 11.30 at night and I thought, if it doesn't take this credit card, I, I may not be able to get home. It was in that moment where I realized I had to do something different. And so, a few days later, just by chance, I saw where the Shaytards had uploaded their debt-free scream video. <laughs> I just thought, who is this Dave Ramsey guy? It's just so, and he wasn't talking about like the stock market and all this like scary stuff that I don't understand. He was talking about not going to the movies and not going out to eat and saving your money. And so I Googled Dave Ramsey, I found his radio show and it was just within five minutes, I was totally hooked. That same day, after discovering Dave Ramsey, I printed out his baby steps, I brought it home, and in my husband's defense, I probably came on a little strong because I think my eyes were crossed and there was just steam coming out of my ears, and I was like, this Dave Ramsey guy says that you need to sell all your stuff, you need to man up, and we need to you know, become debt free. And so a year later is whenever he got on board. I don't know, I thought it maybe was a phase you were going through. We went back and forth and he was definitely the spouse that was not on board with Dave Ramsey. But slowly and surely he started to kind of crack a little bit and he started, you know, listening to some of the things that I was saying. And as soon as he started listening to Dave Ramsey is when it started to click for him. One of the big things that got him on board was that he wanted to go back to school. And school is obviously very expensive. It's thousands of dollars a semester. So we could not pay that out of pocket because we just had all this debt. This is my husband, Matt. And uh, I think you could say that he's a spender and I'm the, I'm the, I'm the nerd. Reform spender. Reform spender, yeah, okay. There you go. But you were the one that uh, had, you know, what, about a year took you to get on board with Dave Ramsey? About a year of poking and prodding, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. And finally afterwards, and this is kind of a really funny story because this is the original uh, printout that I brought home the very first day that I heard about Dave Ramsey. And I went to his website and I printed out everything. And uh, a few days later, Matt drew a fun little uh, picture on Dave's face. It just made me realize that like, okay. We yeah, I mean, I guess that shows my reluctance to, to get on board originally. <laughs> you drew little horns on Dave Ramsey. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It was insane because I didn't think that he was serious about it. But one day I look out my window and of our old house and in the driveway, my husband had this 2010 Ninja motorcycle and he was out there washing it and he started taking pictures of it. And I asked him what he was doing and he said, well, I'm, I'm gonna sell it. And I was, it was just very surprising to me because I thought, no, I mean, are you serious? Are you sure? You know, and it kind of scared me a little bit, but he listed it on Craigslist and some guy came that night with $6,000 in cash and bought it. I'm so excited about this. Two days later, he had a 2004 SVT Ford Lightning. He put that on Craigslist and sold that also. In three days, he sold both of his vehicles and eliminated $20,000 worth of debt. My husband, who is really into cars and motorcycles and all that stuff, didn't have a car. So I had to drive him to work. So I knew he was on board. <laughs> Once I got him on board, he was just the dynamite for the long jam and we sold everything and was able to eliminate the rest of the $20,000 of debt within nine months. I do these videos and I connect with y'all and um, you know, y'all y'all keep me accountable. When I first started my channel, I did not think that I would get any followers and it wasn't really my intention to do that. I just really wanted to talk about Dave Ramsey and I think I kind of wore it out with my husband so I realized that I needed to, you know, maybe sit down and do YouTube videos and I could talk about Dave Ramsey because I was real geeked up about it and um, the more and more I did videos, the more people would contact me and say, hey, you know, your video really inspired me and it's things like that that's so empowering that you helped guide somebody to Dave Ramsey because he's changed my life so much. I I realized quickly after starting my YouTube channel that there were these other channels that were also getting out of debt and um, I just started connecting with them and I, it, Gazelle Intense, Live Like No One Else, 
uh, Budget Girl, uh, Debt Free in One, Two, Three, Our Life on a Budget. I mean, there are so many other channels out there who are either paying off their debt or they are debt free. And I think what's so great about them is that they help as motivation because Dave Ramsey talks about getting out of debt and how you can get out of debt. But these channels are actually showing you what it's like for people to pay off their debt and continue to live debt free. A lot of people, you know, when after baby step two and they pay off their debt, I think people get really fired up and they're moving along and they're paying off their debt. And then once they accomplish that, you know, even Dave talks about that it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. And I think what's important is that these channels help document, hey, you know, not only do we pay off our debt, but this is how we continue to live debt free and we're saving for a car or we're cash flowing college or, you know, we're buying a house and we have a 20% down payment. I think that that's what's important is that this is not just a two-year process whenever you become debt-free. you It's a lifelong choice that you continue to you know live debt-free. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks so much for watching guys and I will see y'all in the next video.